How That's you it. feel? All right, feel right. good. Good, good. I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm excited what I see here, Donnie. These guys are promoting three world title fights coming up on March the what am I, 20th. March 20th, 2015, Friday. Tell me about the fight, guys. Oh, man, you, you said it. Uh, three world title fights, uh, <laughs> first time in history. So it's just not a good fight. We're making history here in okay. Baltimore, All right. and that's important to us. Uh, this is our second show for the Renaissance. The first one we did at the arena downtown, which was – a, a smash of success. That's why we're back. Now, now you guys not the fighters. You're promoters. That's right. I'm a former fighter. Now I'm just promoter. Yeah, I'm a promoter. Talk, talk, talk about what it's about to be a promoter. Go from being a fighter to being a promoter. Well, I mean, that's that's not just like money. That's like making the money. Get knocked out and not making the money. Now you want to watch people get no, knocked was, out. He and was make knocking money. people out yeah, and then getting the money. Yeah, they get the money. Now he wants more. All the money. Okay. Right, right, all right. Okay. All yeah, because right. I don't know nothing about getting knocked out. All right. Well, talk, uh, all right that's what I want to hear. Yeah. Well, tell, tell us about being a promoter. Talk about that. Well, being a promoter, man, it's, it's definitely it's definitely not as easy as a lot of people think because you know, first and foremost, we take all the risks. You know, whether it's a bad event or a good event, it all falls on the promoter's shoulders. But um, break trying to break ground in, in the city of Baltimore, man, is really an obstacle because it's a, lot of, it's a lot of oppositions that we have to go up against as far as the commission office, as far as the fighters here. A lot of fighters here, when they finally make it, they snatch to go to Vegas or they snatch to go and jump on a power machine. What we're trying to do is actually build a new machine and try to bring that renaissance, bring that life back to Baltimore. Try enough to seem like you're doing it. It's work in progress. They, they say if God gives you the vision, he'll give you the provision. You're right about that. So it seems like you well, had it well on your way. Yeah. And this is at Martin's West too, right? Martin's West. So, so tell me about some of these fighters you got coming up. Oh man, uh, our headliner will start with Tory Nelson. Okay. Uh, Six-time world champ, three different weight divisions. Uh, she's serious. We have Tyree. Ty Tori. So wait a minute. Tori's Tori a, a woman. There you go. There you yeah, go. You got three ladies on. The How many women? Three, three. women on first, the card. First time ever. Three women on the card. N three world champions. Three the world champions. Yes, sir. On the card. Okay. Yes, sir. And, and, and of them, how many are, are women? Three. All three? All three are world yeah. champions. Yeah. That's, that's serious. Serious stuff. Man, I went to LaMel. Did any of them go to LaMel? Because we ain't going to beat you up. I remember when she beat you up. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to tell you, there's some women at LaMel who could fight, man. They can knock men out. Oh, yeah. And we got them on our card. But where are they from? Uh, right here in Baltimore. Are they from uh, they locals? Yeah, except, I bet you they went to the LaMel, game. man. Yeah. LaMel produced knockout artists. Yeah. <laughs> Tarshia came out of uptown, right? Yeah. So now, 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 you, now, uh, now you got three guys. Talk, talk about the male fighters you got on them. Well, I'll let you talk about Kwame because... Oh, Did you ever fight any of these guys? No, nah, I, work, I work hand by hand with Kwame. Uh -huh. Kwame Ritter, Rambo Tom. He's one, of, he's one of our most electrifying fighters that night. Uh, he fought at the Baltimore Arena and stopped a guy that was actually 20 pounds heavier than him the night of the fight. He stopped in the first round, about 30 seconds out. Guy so, was out of shape? I don't know. He was 20 pounds overweight. <laughs> That's what we know. So he had more experience, and Kwame made his professional debut and that night. when a cat shows up overweight, he got to pay for that, right? Absolutely. That's a fine. A lot of people don't know. You know, yeah. a lot of stuff you had to figure out from boxing. They don't just say it, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you kind of learn, oh, oh, that's how... You, how did this guy get in the ring if right. he didn't make weight? Yeah, because yeah. we don't know that until the, the day of the weigh-in. So when they show up, when they show up the day of the weigh-in, that's when we find out. Boxing got a lot they of let tricky still stuff going on. Oh, yeah. yeah, well we could have had, well we could have had, we could have called the fight off, or we could have, you know, it's up to the, the fighter and his opponent if they want to still agree to it. And sometimes a fighter will have to come down and wait, and they they meet at a catch weight. So you know, Kwame just was ready to fight. So that's why he told me it didn't matter how heavy he was, he'd take the fight regardless. And then we have DeMond Nicholson. Um, this will probably actually be his last fight here in the, in the area, state of yeah. Maryland because he's signed a contract with Al Hamingham, so he's going to fly out to Vegas. So they, those are some of the more electrifying fighters we have. We have Joshua Dynamite Davis as well. He's from out Maryland, um, real electrifying fighter, super fast. So, and his opponent is also. So it's like not only do we have good fighters, but they get, they're being matched with tough opponents. And, and that was a lot of times people don't want to stop in here in Maryland to fight because the commission here, they're not okay in just an easy fight. You know what I mean? Like they try to, they want to make sure that the risk with somebody getting hurt is slim. So they feel that if the fights are equally matched, the, the risk of somebody being hurt. That doesn't always happen? No, nah, that doesn't always happen because you can't go for somebody's record. You could take a fighter that had five losses, but his five losses could have 
could have been against five world champions. Then you put him in there, but his record is say zero and five. You see what I'm saying? So it, it really all depends. Do you think Baltimore is ready for this? I hope so. Yeah, they better be. We're coming. I mean, you, 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 you got a whiff, you got a sense that Baltimore is ready because you, 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 otherwise you wouldn't have done it. Yeah, well, I, the, reason why, the reason why we decided to do it here was because when you look at everything that's been going on, we have, you had to, to show the corner that people were very interested in. You had to show the wire that people was very interested in. You got the success of the, of the Baltimore Ravens. You got the success of the Orioles. Um, basketball teams in the making. John Hopkins tearing down East Baltimore, building his hospitals up. And you know the first world champion in boxing come from Baltimore. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's right. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Joe Gans. Joe Gans. Joe Gans. Right the bird right there. Black history the month. Yeah. Well, so we got a we got a rich heritage here. Yeah. And that's why that's why we really we really want to try to focus in and we want everybody to really come out and be supportive of this because we're really trying to wake everybody up, let them know what we so, have. So how you get the message out? What are you doing to make the message get out to you know, other than you know, you have flyers, be more news, be more news, news. this this uh what what other ways are you getting the message out? Well, me myself personally, man, my partner T, he handles a lot of that side. What I'm handling is my street team. Okay. You know, because me being from the streets out here, a lot of people out in the streets know me. So I'm just using all my resources in the streets, man, to make sure that we got posters everywhere and pretty much just spreading the word. 92Q, you know, other radio stations, right. all the support we can get because what we're trying, what we're doing is, is a positive move, man. We got, we're trying to get kids off the street and, you know, move them away from gangs and let them come into the boxing gym. I always wanted to know this. <laughs> is there a class to teach y'all promoter guys what to do when the camera's on. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You know, the boxers are in the ring, the fight is just over, the champ is like, yeah, yeah, and he's talking to the camera. But mm -hmm. there's a science and I and I pay attention particularly to the black people <laughs> on the promotions team, because they got a way of easing right, right up behind up right up where behind. they need to be. <laughs> and and some of them just smile. <laughs> but they never take their eyes off the, off camera. the camera. Is that a right. science, man? Did, did somebody make up a class, man? <laughs> who, who, who came up with that stuff, man? And they make oh, it look no, popular. Man. You know, like like the dude with the beard. Right. Older black, you about 55 with the gray, with the mixed gray. You know. Oh, oh, Sam Watson. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like everywhere, how the cat just in every scene. I don't know. Man. That's what y'all can really do. No, okay. they, 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 but they better than that. They're yeah, yeah, than yeah. That. Well, I don't it know better. if it works. It works. Right. Right. <laughs> if it works, right? If, if it, it works, works yeah. it works. So, what do you yeah. say about to young fellas who are out there who want to aspire to be a, a heavyweight champion, just or just be a good, clean boxer? Oh man, it's, it's, it's hard work. It's, I mean, honestly, it's hard work because I don't want nobody to get discouraged. Uh, I think one of the most important things they could do is um, make sure that their strength and conditioning is up to par. Mm -hmm. You know, that's real important, man. We have a gym that we're affiliated with called Elite SFN. Is it's that on, local here? It's right in Columbia. Okay. And All it's right. on 9190 Red Branch Road. Okay. And I, I really recommend that everybody comes out there so we can get your body right first. You know, get your body and your mind right, and then we'll move to the next level. Now, I know there's a gym over uh, on North and, uh, and Druid Hill. Uh, Umar, um, brother Marvin. Yeah, Coach Marvin. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, real good he's guy. He's got a good. I've seen some of the kids he had over there. Really disciplined young kids. He's in the Hall of Fame, Marvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah Coach yeah. Marvin's a real. He's he, he's a real good guy. He did a lot of great things. He did a lot of great things for for Baltimore and these kids. And then you got others. You got Upton. Yeah, Upton is a spectacular gym, and I want to take this opportunity to just, somebody that's not getting that type of attention that they should get. Yeah. Coach Calvin is great, but he gets oh, the Coach attention. Mack. Coach, Coach Mack. Mack. That's right. Yeah. Everybody talking about Coach Yeah, Mack. man. Coach Mack, man. If you go to Upton, Coach Mack is the guy that you really should. He's going to okay. get you right. Okay. We're going to take a pause and come back on the other side. You're watching and listening to the Glover Report right here on WPBNetworks.com. Stay tuned. We'd like to welcome you back to the Glover Report right here on WPBNetworks.com. So what do you think so far, Sam? Are you are I'm, you I'm uh, excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. First of all, my brother and I love the fighting game, and we and we used to go to the boxing matches around town all the time. And they kind of just disappeared. But I think it's a good, clean sport. Uh, my brother loves it more than I did, and that, he kind of broke me into it. Uh, but uh, I think it's a good sport, um, and I love the fact that I see two brothers promoting, not boxing, promoting, because um, I don't know of too many other brothers in this area who are promoters. I think this is an opportunity for something to take off in Baltimore. Entrepreneurship. Yeah, entrepreneurship. That's what it's all about. You know, instead of uh, 
being the one like you like you said earlier, you out there sweating and everything else. Time you sweat, make it count money. Right. So y'all yeah. gonna be like Don King, because he ain't got the without greatest the head, without the without head, without the greatest head. reputation. Yeah, yeah. Some of them boxes yeah. say some greasy stuff no, about no. Don King. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no I, I, I ain't knocking you, Don. I mean, you're burning me, Don. Right, right. But yeah. everybody ain't all that thrilled afterwards. Right. So right. I don't know what happened. Right. Right. Well, what we trying to do not just promote a grand event because. My background, I came out of the, the music industry as well as putting on concerts and promoting and pro production as well. So we How did you get bitten? How did I? Shabazz. We, we started talking about it. He came to a concert I put on, and he was just looking around. He's like, man, th th this is great. He's like, you know, I got an idea for boxing, but we want to make it different. We didn't want to just, you know, rent a space and throw a ring up and bring some boxes in. We really wanted to surround it and make it an event. And that's where we came up with the renaissance of boxing. We, we had a concept briefing that we actually put around and, and had people sort of hack, up, hack off on because we really wanted to change the culture. We wanted to change the expectation because some people think you just come and walk in, sit in the fold-up chair, oh, that dude was nice, and leave. We but, want but it's, to. It's, yeah. it's some entertainment. So I'm exactly. wondering, right. is there an associated hip-hop artist? That's coming in, busting in, singing. This. Come on, I know y'all yeah, got some of that. Yeah, yeah, we do. We have we have some local artists. We have some local artists, but we also have a surprise guest. We don't we don't want to announce the surprise guest yet because we don't want it to overshadow the boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 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 some people will be marching in with their own music. Ab absolutely. Is, is that a, a standard, a staple now of boxing events? The well, rap artists? If you're making it an event, yeah. Yeah, it's because it's not really so much only just rap. Like, we really trying, we really break, going to shake it up a little bit. You know, this is definitely, like, when you look at power powerhouses like the WWE, like, it's more entertainment. It's not even about the fight. When you go to, like, baseball games, it's more about everything that comes around the baseball game besides the baseball game so itself. So I can expect, we can expect some pretty girls. That's why I just, I just see that kind of Well, see, but that's, yeah, that's the difference, man. That's yeah. the difference. See, that's the difference. Listen, that's the difference, man, because what we're doing, they're gorgeous. Ah! Well, you, you know, go. they're gorgeous. <laughs> they're yeah, check, gorgeous. Check the Facebook page, right? Yeah, yeah, check the Facebook page. <laughs> okay. What he's definitely there now. Oh, um, yeah. got that. What's the page? <laughs> what, how do we, how March do we find 20th. you? March 20th. How do we find you online? Uh, we at boxingrenaissance.com. Uh, people can get their tickets, though, at bemoreboxing.com or through boxingrenaissance.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Boxing Renaissance. And then IG, Boxing Renaissance. So what's Boxing Renaissance? What's that all about? The well, rebirth. The rebirth. Uh, it's a renewed interest. Uh, it's, it's a new vigor attached to something. That's all involved in what we're doing with these events. Do you remember back in the day when boxing was on closed circuit TV? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. my daddy told me to take me to a boxing match. I can get down to the big damn TV screen. <laughs> Ain't nobody tell me nothing about that. That was before cable. Well, so right, right. Look, 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 yeah. look, we went to see the Mike Tyson. Uh, Leon Spinks fight, or was it Michael Spinks? Michael Spinks. Michael, Michael Spinks yeah. fight. Guy sitting next to me paid all that money at Towson Center. Guy went to get some popcorn when he came back to me. He said, "What happened?" It was over. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's when we used to go out to Towson Center and then down the arena and pay all that money to watch it on television, on big screen television. <laughs> yeah. But what 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 made the sport kind of die off in Baltimore? Oh man, well a lot, a lot. It's really a lot. But one you can of the start things with the promoters, you can start with yeah. the promoters. Yeah, the promoters were responsible for the demise of boxing in the city, man, because we had talented fighters, but these promoters wasn't being fair with their fighters. And once the fighters, you know, just like anybody in, in the hood. They ain't going back. Right, and, right. It, and word of mouth spread faster than anything. Like, you know a guy on the street, if he be like, you don't mess with that dude, that dude is, is crook. It's a lot of times people going to say, no, nah, I ain't messing with this dude, I heard he a crook. So what happened with these promoters, that the promoters was just capitalized off the boxers' ignorance. So they was making money, but they wasn't take care of their fighters. You know, and like you were saying earlier, we, you talk, you so many athletes now, Two years outside of their game, they broke. You see what I'm saying? They're not understanding the business side of the sport. And that was one of the things. That's why what we're doing now, man, we're trying to, in order to gravitate the fans again, we have to make sure that we get the best boxes that the city has to offer. We're bringing the best, most competitive fights and entertainment so that we can bring everybody back. Once money's being generated, then the fighters can start making more money and it'll be a more pleasant business. Right, and then, it, I'm sorry, Sam. Ahead. Then it comes down to the fighters, too. So what we're doing is we're making sure we put our fighters out there, let the fans get to know them, let the fans hear their story. So when others on the outside say, hey, Shabazz and Shaw Star, they, they, they taking care of the fighters. I, I see them all the time. I hear about them all the time. Then that'll start 
to trickle back into Baltimore too. And where are you originally from? Florida. Florida. Tallahassee. Man, uh -uh. Florida got a lot of athletes. I got a lot of respect for Florida. You got Florida mm -hmm. and New York. Yeah. Y'all run the whole East Coast. <laughs> Okay. Uh, now I Martin, see a takeover coming. Don, yeah. you better get ready, cousin. <laughs> they coming. They coming. Now, now Martin's is not a little location. No. So you got to pack that place. Absolutely, and that's real important, man. Just so everybody know, like you was talking about, you know, two black promoters. Listen, man, it's real important that we have that support because that's already a strike against us as, as is. You know, they want to see we have to show people in numbers what we're capable of doing in the city. Right. Yeah, we want we want your event to be successful. Uh, we want you to be able to show that you you can do this. So the next one is bigger and bigger, and then the next thing you know, you're down at the Royal Farms Arena and everywhere else doing it big time. Yeah, because we started. Y'all get that? It's gonna be called a Donny Glover Arena. <laughs> I oh, got you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you tell us all. Let the camera know all that we got coming down. Okay, we got three world title fights, March 20th at Martin's West. We have six-time world champ Tori Nelson defending the title. We have the newly minted. WIBA champ Tyresha Douglas, Tyresha Douglas, mm -hmm. let me correct that online and on the app. I want her to give me that cross. And then we have Jennifer <laughs> the Bolivian Queen, Salinas, along with Kwame Rambo Time Ritter, Joshua Dynamite Davis, and uh, who else should I mention? Um, I should mention that Sharif Rahman is on the card too. Yeah, the son of Hassan Rahman, Sharif Rahman will be fighting on the card as well. So any, any suggestions before we interview these gorgeous knockout women on interviewing so, so, I mean, don't 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 call Tarishia Tarisha. Tarisha, don't do what I just did. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Lady Tiger. I'll just stick with Lady Tiger. Yeah, yeah Lady that. Tiger. Right, and I, and I forgot to mention we got the hottest cat out of D.C. We mentioned him already, Demond Nicholson. Yeah, probably his last fight in Maryland. Yeah, so everybody who's been in the ring, he he only twelve fights, one loss, eleven knockouts. So you want to tell the camera why people should come out on, on that date to, to see you? You got to come out to this event, man. Yeah, what you want to see is knockout after knockout, exciting fights, beautiful women. Get dressed up, put some expensive clothes on, come out there and mingle. It's going to be a night you won't forget. It's a historic night. Three world title fights. That's right, because people come to the boxing match with the furs, with, with the gators, with, with the yeah, game. You want to see it all. Yeah, step your game up. Yeah. Speaking of which, carpet. where you get that jacket at, partner? Oh, yeah. This that ain't up. no regular blazer. And I think it's that Kenneth Cole, New York. There you go. There yeah, you go. Yeah, there yeah, there some you go. floor ass. <laughs> 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 see what I'm saying? <laughs> Good deal. Uh, so let, let's get the, uh, how can people follow you again? The, the oh, yeah. BoxingRenaissance.com. Uh, Boxing Renaissance on Twitter. Boxing Renaissance on IG. So Boxing Renaissance. Okay. Easy. And, and before you go, one word to any aspiring boxers, or aspiring promoters, or even young people in general? What's your shot of hope? Oh, man, well, to, to all aspiring boxers, I'm, I'm, again, I want to tell you all to come check us out at Elite SFN Gym or Upton Boxing Gym. And any other promoters, watch out, man, because we're coming after all y'all fighters <laughs> for <laughs> knockouts. Oh, wow. Yeah, we calling them out, man. Kwame, I'm, ma I'm matching my fighter up, Kwame Ritter, with any 180-pound fighter in the state of Maryland, D.C., Virginia, New York. Any? Any. 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 A lot of confidence here, y'all. A lot yeah. of confidence. Yeah. Well, this is good. I'm telling you, I'm excited about this. I can't wait. I'm, yeah. I'm spreading the word about it for sure. Spread the word, man. Yeah. Kwame, Kwame word. Rambo, Tom, Joshua, Donna, Mike Davis. Man, I got 2,000 on my fighters. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, easy. What you got? I got 50 cents. <laughs> I'm a Christian. I don't gamble. <laughs> but I'll be watching. Good stuff. Thank you for uh, watching the Glover Report right here. And stay tuned right here on WPBNetworks.com.